Welcome to another video from uh, Log Analysis Made Easy, Lame Creations. I have a, a problem I ran into. I didn't even know it was a problem. Here's a very simple example of tstats, count from data model network traffic, and I group by the all traffic source IP, all traffic dest IP, all traffic dest port. And this is how it's always been done. You get these results back. Like, well, I don't want to work with these uh, all traffic dot notations. That's kind of difficult to display for users. So you end up coming in here and you do a rename on it. And you ultimately, you're just going to rename these fields. All traffic dot source IP is source IP. All traffic dest IP is dest IP. And you go through that. And it's just what you've always dealt with. And it's tedious, it's time consuming, but that's how we've always, that's how I've always done it. And then, and so that gets you some nice usable uh, names. Well, I've learned an, a bit a better trick. And I'm gonna show that. I'm gonna take these out now. One, two, three, ticks, and one, two, three, and I'm gonna come and remove this. And this has been a lifesaver. I can actually go rename. I'm gonna go grab the piece I want off dot star as star that's the syntax so if i just put this in place instead of having to write all traffic dot source ip as source ip all traffic dest ip as dest ip boom it drops all of those off and you know what in this situation it was three a clearly this is longer but is it really that big a deal let's go to an example where it really can be i'm looking here at the rest api and look at all these things, action, dot, action, 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 action. And this thing just keeps on going down the line. We have a ton of actions. Imagine if I need to rename all of those. Well, the same principle applies here. I can just go rename action dot star as star. Now, I want you to pay attention. It's not going to make all the action words go away because this one, for example, is action dot action history, action dot action history dot content. So you might have to do it a few times, but it's still a massive time consumer. When this is done running, all of those actions will be gone. And now, so now I've just got action history, action history dot content. And so I could actually then throw this through again. I'm actually live demoing this, never actually tried it, but let's go action history dot star as star. I'm going to assume content's actually going to disappear because it'll probably be um, ordered differently. But we'll find out. It should work. Yep, actions, and so then all those actions disappeared. Really quickly, I'm pulling out all of those notations. And so I just wanted to show that this command here has been a lifesaver. I'd love to say that I uh, I created this or I found it, but to be fair, it's actually a macro that uh, led me to this understanding. If I go to settings, advanced search, and I go look at macros, and I look at the drop macro, we can see drop DM object. You'll see those a bunch in enterprise security. And they basically gave me the context and was able to pull it apart and use it for myself. But anyway, uh, you know what? Uh, thievery is nine tenths the law. Anyway, I'm glad that I was able to find this huge time saver, especially when you get lots and lots of fields you need to rename. I hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja and that you keep watching my videos and you like and subscribe and that you keep coming back.